Welcome to the RPG channel and today we are talking about Shining Force 2. Shining Force 2 is a real is a turn-based strategy game that came out for the Sega Genesis in 1994. This is another one of those games that didn't get a whole lot of attention when it came out, but is now pretty much regarded as some kind of cult game that is still surprisingly popular. I was one of the lucky ones who played this on the Sega when it originally came out. This isn't so much a review of this game necessarily as it is pretty much just me telling you to buy this game. You can either get it for the Wii Virtual Console and it's also available on a compilation disc that is available for the Xbox 360 and probably for the PS3 also. The gameplay is simply amazing. It's a amazingly cute, charming, turn-based strategy game that, despite its age, in my opinion, still holds up pretty good. That could just be nostalgia talking, but I honestly don't think it is. While I've played a couple of other games like this, like turn-based strategy and stuff, there's a particular charm about this game, and I don't know if it's just the bright, colorful characters, or the simplistic combat style or something, I don't know, but I find it a lot easier to play this game than I did playing games like Final Fantasy Tactics, or Brigandine, or other games like that. So, this game is available pretty cheaply through a couple of different means, and just go buy it. I can't think of any real reason not to. The story of Shining Force 2 involves a thief type character that breaks into a palace or tower or something and tries to steal a pair of jewels which unknowingly to him were containing an ancient evil which he accidentally relieves says and this is a lot like the Conan storyline. Oh well. There are various towns throughout the world where you can walk around and explore and talk to people. And there is, as you might expect, a shop system where you can buy weapons and items and other things like that for your characters. This game isn't really any kind of like dark fantasy or anything. It doesn't deal with too much mature subject matter. The story is really good though. Just think of it more like a really epic kids cartoon or something like that and not necessarily a Lord of the Rings caliber epic. The dialogue in this game sometimes leaves a little bit to be desired. While I maintain that this game is perfect in its entirety, it is not without imperfect parts. The biggest part of this comes from what could be perceived as a lack of innovation, but considering that this is the first game of its type really on a console that I'm aware of, this isn't really exactly fair. But regardless, there are just certain things that seem rather shallow about it. like. The terrain affects your movement, but that's pretty much it. There isn't a whole lot of modifiers for anything like high ground or flanking or anything like that. And aside from magic, your attacks consist pretty much entirely of running up to enemies and hitting them. And wizards being the only ones who can bring any sort of variety of attack to the battles. Because of the way the experience is handed out, you will probably find yourself metagaming a bit, whether you really mean to or not. And by that I mean you'll let your stronger characters weaken an enemy down to having one or two hit points left, and then let the weaker ones finish them off so they'll get the experience points and level. It's a decent strategy, but it doesn't really go with the rest of the game. Despite any of this game's flaws or more shortcomings, actually, than anything else, I strongly, strongly recommend that anyone who's even remotely interested in 
role-playing games, fantasy type stories, not even necessarily turn-based strategy, but just, I think this is a game that has so much to offer that probably anyone could play it and enjoy it. And it's available through so many different means for relatively cheap costs, then I just have to think that it's worth the cost. So, this has been James with the RPG Channel, and I will talk to you later.